basically I'm looking at putting the M.2 drive in and it goes at this location. You need to make sure you get the right screwdriver for these screws. They're quite tight, um, so you don't want to round the heads off. So you want to make sure you get the right screwdriver. And this looks like it's just a big heat sink uh, or a big aluminium block. I don't actually think it does a lot. Um, more for show than anything else. Underneath we've got the heat sink for the M.2 drive, which is shown here. So you need to take that out first. It helps if you've got a magnetic screwdriver, so you don't lose the screw. And we're talking tiny threads here. So be careful you don't lose it. And that should come out. So it lifts up, slides out. And on the back of that we've got some uh, some tape and basically what you do is you pull that off and stick it to the drive uh, and that acts as a heat sink for the drive this drives a WD blue SM550 and you can see it's got chips on one side nothing on the other side it wants to go that way around with the chips up also there's a little cutout at the front there the cutout is at the front rather than at the back so we've moved that now this is um, quite interesting, um, it's a little bit different to most um, installation of M.2 drives. Most drives you can just uh, put the drive across and it rests on the, um, on the post and you just screw it to the post. With this particular one it's a little bit different. So you've got the post at the bottom and then there's another little piece at the top. You need to remove that piece at the top before you put the drive in. You put the drive in, then you've got to put this piece back on top, then you've got to attach the heat sink. So it's a little bit different. It's quite difficult to get to, um, and it's you just need to be quite careful trying to undo it. Flies are not the best, but it's the only thing I've got that fits. So we're taking that little piece off. And we're talking tiny, tiny threads. So that can come out. Right, so now the drive's ready to go in. Let's make sure nothing's at the bottom. It's clean. Right. So let's try and put the drive in. You can see there, it's got the little cutout there. So you want to line the drive up with a little uh, cutout and then gently push. There you go. Now that's in. And now we need to push the drive down and put that post back on. This is the difficult bit. It's very, very fiddly. Especially with my big fingers. Uh, I think it's probably easier with a little screwdriver actually. A little magnetic screwdriver on the top. Gently pushing on top. To align it maybe. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. So yeah, it's not got a, a screwdriver uh, slot in the top, but I'm just using a little bit of pressure on the top thread just to wind it in. And you can see there that it's now winding in nicely. Right, so I've not put over a lot of pressure on it. Now I'm just gonna do it a little bit finger tight. Right, that's finger tight and that's plenty. Drives in nice, it's all lined up and it's flat. If you put this on top of this, the drive will be at an angle and it won't fit properly. So it needs to be under that little post. Right, so then we've got the heat sink. We've got the heat sink and it's got the tape on it. So now we can take the tape off. And it's got the thermal pad on the bottom. So now this can go in here. So it slots in at this gap, comes down. Let's make sure it's seated right there. So yeah, that's now seated correctly at this end. Now I can put the little screw back in. This is a magnetic screwdriver. And we can tighten that back up. Again, it doesn't need to be, it's just nipped nice and gently. That's reasonably, it does move a fraction, but it's reasonably uh, reasonably good. That will stick there nicely. 
Right, that's in. Uh, now we can put the heat sink back on or the the big block. It's a bit it's a bit odd the way this is. This is actually the heat sink uh, the piece that's in here, and you're just relying on this, touching this, if you want to transfer any heat into this big block. So this big block's not really doing a great deal, I don't believe. It might even be better thermally leaving this block off and just leaving it like that, allowing the air from the cooler uh, to run over um, the heat sink. But I'm going to put it back on anyway. Just need to make sure we line the holes up. It's quite difficult knowing where they are. There you go, it's starting to screw in. So it must be somewhere near. Yeah, I'll just nip that. Snip that. It's nipped. Nipped. And that's the drive in. 